Uh, and our friend, Paul Iacono, who has a speaking role. Um, we are the Jewish husbands of this film. But uh, that scene uh, takes place at the Cafe Corolla. And before Molly and I begin our duet tribute to Elias uh, to Rich, um, you know, uh, Ben and I were there on the night at the Carlisle, this Sondheim show that Elaine performed. It was the second time she had done this show. Uh, but by the time she did this show, as you've already heard, she was having trouble sometimes with her, uh, with, with her lyrics and would call out to her accompanist, her long suffering, St. David Cumberland's Rob Bowman, uh, the, the most beautiful person in the world. And uh, you, uh, second only to Molly Pope, uh, as the most beautiful person in the world. And uh, accidentally, in my pocket, unbeknownst to me, uh, I, I accidentally recorded one of those songs. Oh, uh, and I'm not going to play you the whole thing, and it, but I will play you one section of it because uh, it was very dear to me. Uh, because it is a great struggle. But it was a struggle that through sheer force of will, by the end of this song, which I will not play you, she had overcome and went over the audience. But this is a moment uh, toward the end of Elaine's career at the Carlisle. She is singing and I'll try to, I mean, it's a terrible recording, and it's a terrible microphone, so I hope you can hear it. Uh, it is uh, toward the end, toward the middle, uh, uh, this is a song by Sondheim from the musical A Much Whistle uh, called uh, It's Parade in Town. And, uh, I hear marchers marching, throwing cats at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will listen to that just once again now that you know what to say. <coughs>
You're not sick. You're just.